This is heavy. The people at the market are so nice. They give me more than I can carry. I'm Wataru Ibata. I'm 10 years old and I'm in elementary school. I'm on my way home from buying some groceries at the market. Ah, wait, don't go! Uh, Mr. Kawamori, uh, hello! Huh? Is that you, Wataru? How unlucky am I to come across one of my students when I'm on a date? I should just ignore him. Here you go, boy. Did you get these groceries on your own? <laughs> Good boy! Thank you! This kind lady helped me collect the vegetables I dropped. Hey, is he flirting with my girlfriend? Thank you for your help! It's my pleasure. Your girlfriend is very nice, Mr. Kaomori. Your student is adorable. Y you think so? Who does he think he is to talk to my girlfriend like that? I'm never gonna forgive him. Dear good boys and girls, here are the theme park tickets. So I hope you can come visit us. Hmm, do you think they'll like our surprise? I bet they'll love it. Listen, everyone. The owner of the theme park kindly sent us free tickets. Really? Yay! I can't wait to play. We'll be going on a field trip to the theme park next Wednesday, so make sure to get ready. Yay! On the day of the field trip, we're so lucky it's sunny today. What a great day to go to the theme park. I'm definitely going to ride the roller coaster at least three times. Isn't that a bit too much? When we were waiting for the bus to come... My girlfriend is here to join us for the special occasion. She's beautiful, kind, and not to mention very smart, just like me. I'll be supervising you all today. Nice to meet you. Wow, she's really pretty. A handsome boyfriend and a beautiful girlfriend. What a perfect match. <laughs> Hello again. Thank you for helping me the other day. No problem. Let's have a lot of fun today. Yes! Ah, Wataru is being sweet to my girlfriend again. It was time for the bus to leave and we all sat down in our seats. Huh? The seats are already full. My girlfriend won't be able to sit. Oh, uh, I have an idea. Wataru, can I talk to you for a moment? Uh, me? The teacher called me, so I stood up from my seat confused. Hey, Wataru. I know you don't have any friends. It's no fun going to the theme park if you're all alone. How about you stay in the classroom so you won't feel ashamed of yourself? Huh? Uh, no, I do have friends. I want to have fun at the theme park, too. <sighs> Guess I have no other choice. Then, Mr. Kawamori suddenly placed his hand on my forehead. Oh no, we have a problem. Seems like Wataru has a fever. What? I don't think so. Come on, I'll take you to the nurse. Sit down, relax. Take your time and check your body temperature, okay? Uh, okay. Check your body temperature at least twice just to make sure, okay? I'll be waiting at the bus, so come back if you don't have a fever. Okay. Mr. Kawamori quickly headed back to the bus. Sadly, Wataru won't be joining us today. He's not feeling well. Huh? He was so excited for this field trip! He didn't look sick, though. We'll have fun on his behalf. Alright, let's get going. Oh, great! I knew I wasn't sick! Huh? What? The bus is leaving! Dum Dum! The kids we invited are coming today, so we'll do our best to entertain them as much as we can. Yep, hopefully they'll make great memories here. Hi, I'm Atom. Today, I'm working part-time at the theme park with Keita, whom I look up to. Look, the kids are here! Welcome, everyone! You're free to go wherever you want. Remember not to disturb others, okay? Okay! okay. Off you go. Free time starts now. Come, we'll have a lot of fun together today. Which ride should we go on first? Huh, maybe we should keep an eye on the kids. I thought you wanted me to help supervise the kids. Nah, don't worry about them. They're already in fifth grade. Let's go ride that roller coaster first. Okay. Okay, we're going first to make sure the ride is safe for you all. 
Get out of our way. What? Wait. Huh? Why? That's not fair. That's because you don't want to wait in line, right? <laughs> Teachers are busy, get it? Sorry, we're going first. Hey, I don't think this is a good idea. I'm sorry, everyone. I don't think that's acceptable as a teacher. He told the kids not to disturb others, but he's the one who's disturbing the others the most. Hearing the kids having fun at the theme park, I, the owner of this theme park, was looking for my son. Hmm, I can't find him anywhere. I wonder where he's gone. Oh, isn't he my son's homeroom teacher? Hello, Mr. Kawamori. We're lucky it's sunny today. Uh, who are you? I'm the owner of this theme park. Oh, uh, hello, sir. Uh, nice to see you here. My son should be here, too, but I can't find him anywhere. Huh? Do I know his son? If I happen to be his homeroom teacher, I should appeal to how wonderful I am as a teacher. Um, what's his name again? He's Wataru Ibata. No! Oh, no, oh no. Wataru? Seriously? Oh, this is bad. Are you alright, sir? Actually, uh, Wataru was unable to come today because uh, he was feeling sick this morning. What? Oh, he's sick? Poor Wataru. Uh, we'll get going now. I have to check on the students. Goodbye, sir. Wataru? I was shocked to hear that from his homeroom teacher. But after I calmed myself down, I realized that something was off. He was nice and healthy at home this morning. How come he suddenly got sick at school? If he really was sick, the school should have contacted me to pick him up. I was getting suspicious, so I decided to call the school and to directly check with the nurse. Then... Hello? Wataru? It's Dad here. Are you sick, son? Dad, I'm not sick at all. But Mr. Kawamori suddenly took me to the nurse to check my body temperature. And the bus left while I was checking if I had a fever or not. That's horrible. If you're feeling fine, I'll make someone pick you up right away. Really? Thanks, Dad. Here you go. We're giving out free balloons. What color do you want? I want blue. Oh, there you are, Keita. Uh, I have a favor to ask. After he told me what was going on, I quickly went to pick Wataru up from school. You must be Wataru. I'm here to take you to the theme park. Yep, that's me. Thank you for coming to pick me up. Thanks to Mr. Keita, I finally arrived at the theme park. Yes, I'm finally here. Hey, Wataru. Huh? Why are you here? I thought you were sick and went to see the nurse. Are you feeling better now? I'm feeling great. Actually, I wasn't sick from the very beginning. But I was taken to the nurse and the bus left me behind. Really? That's horrible. But you're here now. Why? I wanted to ask you to join me on this ride, Wataru. I arrived a bit late, but fortunately I got to have a lot of fun with my classmates. While I was taking a break from riding attractions, drinking some juice with my friends on the bench, Mr. Kawamori... Huh? Why are you here, Wataru? You were supposed to be sick, staying with a school nurse. Gosh, just go back to school before things get more complicated. What? But I'm not sick or anything. Ah, you must be Mr. Kawamori. Are you sure Wataru isn't feeling well? Of course. Wataru had a very high fever this morning. And clearly told me that he was nauseous and feeling horrible. So you decided not to join the field trip, right? It was your choice, correct? Mr. Kawamori glared at me. And his expression made me really scared. So I answered... I... Um... Yes, sir. I had no other choice but to say yes. <laughs> See? <laughs> He's sick. He lied to his father so that he could come to the theme park. Hmm, you're being suspicious. I have an idea. How about we ask the super famous Dr. Moroboshichi to check if you're actually sick? If you're really sick, you should get treated as soon as possible. Huh? You're not making sense. Hey, Moroboshichi! It's me, Keita! So, uh, this and that happened, and... Okay, I'll be right there. 
Really? That's great! Thanks! moroboshi Chi's coming here to give you a health check, Wataru. He told me he'll be on his way, so he should arrive anytime soon. Okay! <laughs> You're making no sense. Are you talking about Mr. Moroboshi from the famous Moroboshi family? Yeah, obviously. <laughs> There's no way Mr. Moroboshi would come here after one phone call. Just for you, an ordinary part-time worker. Stop! You're being too harsh! It's no big deal. I should teach him a lesson. Moroboshi Chi doesn't judge people based on their occupation, okay? First of all, how come you know his private phone number? You must be making everything up. When Mr. Kawamori and Keita were having a very heated conversation, a helicopter stopped in front of us, making a loud sound and strong wind as Mr. Moroboshi appeared from it. Keita, sorry to keep you waiting. Moroboshi Chi, that was really quick. Huh? This has to be a joke. Is that really Mr. Moroboshi? Mr. Moroboshi, he's so perfect. You, who the hell are you? Huh? I'm Keita, Moroboshi Chi's friend. So, who should I give a health check to? It's him, Wataru. I want you to give him a brief health check as soon as possible. His homeroom teacher said he had a very high fever and that he was feeling very nauseous this morning. So he decided to let him stay with a nurse while the class went on a field trip. But I don't think he looks sick at all. I see. He does look healthy. But we never know. His sickness might not be recognized at first glance, so let me take a closer look. Hmm, 36.5 degrees Celsius. His heart and lungs are doing okay. Wataru, can you open your mouth? Ah. Uh... Let me see and touch your stomach. Hmm, so I did some checkups, but he's nice and healthy, both mentally and physically. That's great to hear! What? No, he was really sick. When he was about to make more excuses, Dad came to check on me. What's this helicopter doing here? Oh, Wataru, there you are! Dad! You look healthy as always. Mr. Kawamori, I thought you told me he was sick. Uh, about that. This is my helicopter. My friend called, worried that Wataru might be sick. But after giving him some checkups, I guarantee you that he's very healthy. There's nothing to worry about. Did you come here just for my son, Mr. Moroboshi? Thank you very much for your help. Mr. Kawamori, I think you owe us an explanation. Why did you lie about Wataru being sick and leave him with a nurse on purpose? With all of the adults pressuring him to tell the truth, he finally seemed to give up. Uh, to be honest, I wanted the theme park all to myself and my girlfriend, but there weren't enough seats on the bus for all of us to sit, and I really wanted to take my girlfriend here, and I thought it might be a good opportunity to teach him a lesson after flirting with my girlfriend. Gosh, really? Is that the reason why I was left behind? How come you did something so horrible to my son just because of those reasons? I'll have to report this to the education committee. Please, no. After his shocking actions were revealed... I'm fired? No way. He was fired and no longer my homeroom teacher. And that was not it. I didn't know you were this kind of person. I can't believe it. How come you were jealous just because I talked with an elementary school boy? You're so lame. I'm speechless at this point. It's over between us. Goodbye. No. And Mr. Kawamori now. Welcome, Welcome everyone. everyone. Kawamori, what's that face? Your smile looks weird. The kids are going to be scared of you. Smile naturally. Am I doing it right? Mm, you have a long way to go. Look, copy me. Welcome. He, he definitely, definitely needs, needs more, more practice. practice. He works part-time at Dad's theme park and is struggling with his job. What's your favorite ride at the theme park? Don't forget to subscribe. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? 
Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon.